bad bird, bad bird. They look so innocent. I felt feathers. <laughs> I am not snowing. Welcome to another beautiful day in Kuala Lumpur and Singapore. We are coming to you today from the Kuala Lumpur Bird Park, but... We have a very special video for you this week. We are doing a bird park showdown. <laughs> we are going to Kuala Lumpur's bird park and Singapore's brand new bird paradise in a quest to find out which is the better bird park. So yes, we are going to not one, but two bird parks in this video. It's gonna be amazing. First up, Kuala Lumpur. Let's hit it. We've just entered Kuala Lumpur's bird park. And after you go through the initial door, then you step into an area where there's a number of yellow birds flying around, which is a lot of fun. One of them's kind of poking its head out of a little birdhouse. It's really cool. Kuala Lumpur's bird park is basically a giant cage with birds roaming around you. And they have it divided into several zones with different birds in each zone. A giant, I don't know what, just flew right over me. <laughs> so you never know what's gonna happen in a covered area like this. The thing I worry about the most, of course, is getting pooped on. <laughs> it did not happen when we visited Jurong Bird Park in Singapore a year ago, but now we're going to two more bird parks and I feel like we're just taking the risk all over again. Might be worth it though, these are amazing. That was the thing that flew over my head. Unrelated to that, we also saw a peacock fly right over our heads. I didn't know they could fly. I've never seen one fly before. So we have barely entered. We stopped in this little alcove and all of a sudden birds just started flying everywhere above us, which is kind of a really neat start. sure how we get past these. Oh, look at the owls. Ah. Oh. They have a guide to the different owls. I think the Malay eagle owl was my favorite. Okay, the big bushy eyebrows and black beady eyes. We are back here for a feeding that takes place in a few minutes and a bunch of birds have already started gathering. I think they know how to tell time. They're storks? Yep. These are what bring the babies. <laughs> yes, supposedly. <laughs> Pigeon is making a nest. Look, where are you going with that giant twig, bird? It is a nest. Huh, I've never seen one of these before. They're kind of cute. Boy, walking through here, it is really easy to forget that we are in the center of Kuala Lumpur. And it's also easy to forget that we are covered with netting because this just looks like it's an outdoor area, like a botanical garden or something. With this ravine down here and there might be a river, it's really beautiful. We briefly joined some kind of bird parade. <laughs> After the feeding, they all seem to be headed down to a water area. We did not mean to disturb their parade. Want to be on TV? Zones one and two are kind of a commingled space, and that's where we've been so far. Now we're heading to zone three. Zone three is smaller than zones one and two and has a couple of cages within cages and a large open space and also a cafe. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm stuck here all day. building a nest up there. It was moving in. I guess I'm doing this too. Oh, you got the red one. Uh, you got to talk to your red friend. Uh-oh. Nope, nope. <laughs> there's nothing there. What are you doing? No, there's nothing there. I'm sorry. You got to talk to your red parent friend over here. The one that's trying to eat your shirt. <laughs> He's definitely the alpha. <clears throat> Their talents kind of hurt. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Uh, ow. That's that terrible hurt. for giving you a finger. That hurt. Well, that was amazing. You can feed the super colorful birds for two ringgit. So we both did it. And that was absolutely worth it. I mean, I was terrified, obviously, but I just kept trying to calm myself. I would do it again. I am not so white. That was really, really a cool experience. How about you, Bill? That was a lot of fun. I'm glad we did it. This is one very large bird. <laughs> We're not on even ground, so it's hard to tell, but wow, giant bird. <sighs> Hello, a new friend. What are you? I like your hairdo. We've now entered the waterfall aviary, which has a different kind of stork that we haven't seen yet, and a beautiful waterfall. My feathered friends and I thought we would share a few facts about Kuala Lumpur's bird park. This bird park is nearly 21 acres big and has over 3,000 birds who call this bird park their home and over 200 species make up those 3,000 birds. We received wristbands on our way in and they claim that this is the world's largest free flight walk-in aviary. I'm reading it exactly as written. I think that the words matter. But we've not fact checked it or anything. It's on our wristband, so it must be true, right? That's what we're going with. We are just waiting for the bird show to begin. Right now, it's daily at 12.30, and that's probably the last thing we'll do here before we move to the Singapore Bird Park, Bird Paradise, formerly known as Jurong Bird Park.
we'll tell you what we thought about this bird park when we compare everything at the end. Now off to Singapore. See you there. We are here at Singapore's Bird Paradise. A couple weeks later. If you've been following us for a little while, you may recall that we visited Jerron Bird Park roughly a year ago in Singapore. But in the past year, they migrated uh -huh. all of the birds from Jerron Bird Park to the brand new Bird Paradise here in Singapore. So we are here not just to compare Jerron Bird Park to the new Bird Paradise, but we are also continuing our showdown of Kuala Lumpur's Bird Park to Singapore's Bird Paradise. So far, <laughs> this looks like an amazing facility. This is... No, no, you can't compare them oh, until the end. Sorry, okay. No, no giving anything away. Never mind, I didn't say that. Let's go check out Bird Paradise. You have to buy your tickets in order to enter Bird Paradise. We actually got ours through Kluk, and I'm gonna put a link down below. We saved a few bucks by buying it through them instead of directly through Mandai, so that's what I would recommend. It's time to go see the penguins. <laughs> I'm already so excited because we just walked in and there's like a dozen penguins swimming around and there's these giant aquariums where you can see them underneath the water and we did not have that experience at Jurong Bird Park. <laughs> Look at all of them! Oh my god! The yes! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> These things are huge. They still have information signs about their birds, including where the bird falls on the endangerment scale. I like that they still include that, as well as other information about the birds. Well, the wing sanctuary is really neat. Some of these birds are positively massive. We're also struggling to film them. We keep capturing the cages instead of the birds. But the birds themselves are so impressive. These are all birds that are endangered or need some help of some kind. So they're being protected by the park here. And I really like that. One of them could easily carry our small dog away. <laughs> I think it was eyeing up Bill. Well, we made our way by shuttle to the back of the park, just in time for the midday bird show. <laughs> and then we're gonna grab a bite to eat before we press on. I think this park might be bigger than Kuala Lumpur Bird Park. Is that a pro or a con? We'll <laughs> tell you our opinion at the end. <laughs>
it's just as fun as we remember it from last time. And you still get the photo op afterwards with all of the flamingos, which is great. So, still love the show. Very impressive. Now it's time for us to grab a bite to eat from this little food court, hawker center sort of thing. That is not far at all from the amphitheater. Well, we just finished eating at the food court area. Bill really enjoyed his Thai chicken with pineapple rice. I had the duck rice, which was okay, but I had some problems in getting my food. It took like 45 to 60 minutes to get it. There was a very large group ahead of me, and it's kind of set us on a path where we're just really behind today. So we're gonna be trying to see as many sections as we still can, but we'll be moving kind of quickly. No! Oh. <laughs> Mm, yummy. There you go. Yeah. Oh, you spilled a bunch. Well, that was really neat and a very different experience than Kuala Lumpur and not just because of the size of the birds. But we are saving the comparison for the end. <laughs> We've just entered Crimson Wetland and I see why this is called Crimson Wetland. We're pretty much smacked in the face with a giant flock of flamingos. We're inside our first aviary here and I don't remember aviaries being this big. It's just massive. And one of the great things about it is you get to interact with the birds. There aren't any around us right now, but you're able to get really close, probably three meters or about 10 feet from the flamingos in this case. We're really close. these orange birds from the last park. This guy has stopped traffic. through the Amazon area. It seems like they've recently had food put out for them and so a lot of them are just off of the trail eating. And that is like the most perfect timing. I love it. Yes, I'm walking backwards. Your eyes are not deceiving you. I should watch where I'm going. the songs of the forest section which at home at least in Minnesota songbirds are my favorite you never know where a bird may be hiding we remember this guy from Jerome bird park then we saw him at Kuala Lumpur's bird park and it seemed like they were nesting. Here we have one actually in a nest. I feel like my camera isn't big enough suddenly. The Lori Loft lives another day. 
This was my favorite section of Jurong Bird Park. I thought it was so amazing with all of the beautiful, brightly colored birds. I'm so glad it's still here, just in a different incarnation. Actually closed down part of Lori Loft for feeding time. Maybe we'll have to come back after we see everything else if there's time. Between the sections there's always this building with some education and stuff. It's super dark in there so we'll be able to show that. The best part is though air conditioning. Glorious, glorious air conditioning. Glorious, glorious air conditioning. Anyway, we are now in Mysterious Papua. Which has these pigeons, which we've seen in some of the other enclosures, and they are our favorite pigeons. I mean, they're the only pigeons we like. Let's yeah. go find them. We saw these for the first time in Kuala Lumpur. We did not remember seeing them at Jurong Bird Park. They might have been there, but they are just these enormous birds, just massive. I think they're called cassowaries. One of the really nice things about this new reincarnation of the bird paradise, bird park, is that the aviaries are so tall, you actually get the sense that you're just outside. You have no... Sorry, a flock of birds going the other way. You get the sense that you're outside and you're not really in an enclosure. You hardly notice it's there because it's so high. It's amazing. <laughs> Now in the outback zone. I'm sure that was terrible. There's wallabies in here? I haven't seen any wallabies. It's a bird park. <laughs> Why is there a sign about wallabies? I'm expecting wallabies. <laughs> regret having duck for lunch. close to the walkway, it's amazing. It looks so soft and furry. But we'll probably eat me. Well, we have a deadline. We are trying to make it to the other side of the park for something. But the Outback is kind of amazing. You said it all wrong, Outback. No, we, we don't do that accent well. Outback, zone. <laughs> no. There is a wallaby. Oh. Hi, Jove. I feel like somebody has something to say. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> there shouldn't be wallabies here, but we get bonus wallabies at the bird park. Like I said, Australia is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We 
just encountered a far more serious bird watcher than what we are, who explained that the nests that we just saw are actually being built by the male birds. So the female birds will sort of shop around the houses until they find one that they like and then they move in and I guess let the mating begin. If they don't like it, they'll just keep shopping around until they find one that meets their standards. How does my place look? I guess my place needs some remodeling. Is it really that different than the human world? Yes, it is. Because sometimes the man moves in with the woman because her place is really nice. We're the ones who know how to decorate. Now that was very engaged. You said. <laughs> no, seriously, you cannot use that. Okay. Well, I think that Africa might be my new favorite area in the bird park, in bird paradise. I'm not just saying that because I got to feed the birds here. They're beautiful. Some of the birds have this like pearly color to them, so slightly iridescent. So when they move, they change colors. And that is just incredible. It's just beautiful to see in person. The last couple of birds we saw were amazing. The first one had an eye that was bright, bright yellow, like a marble. Really just very shiny and translucent. With just a tiny dot in the middle for the iris. We thought that was the most pretty bird we'd seen today. And then we saw this purple, white, and pink one, which we'd never seen anything like that before. It was amazing. Favorite new bird, the white, purple, and pink one. It was beautiful. I think it's my favorite. Oh, no, there's too many to choose from, but it's up there. Top five for sure. some really talkative birds in this tree. You can't see them, you can definitely hear them. Some of them just have the most amazing and unique sounds I've ever heard. There's a suspension bridge here. <laughs> What is a suspension bridge doing in our park? It's connecting the walkways. It's kind of amazing. Oh man. What would an attraction in Singapore be without some raised walkways? <laughs> it's true. I think I'll just use the straps. Hey, how did Bruce get a pigeon named after him? Oh, look back there. Our bird, our bird. Oh. <laughs> this is our bird. There is a bird that we saw in Jurong Park and we saw it on the other side of a cage and it didn't move for the longest time and its beak is like 12 inches long and we wondered about this bird and wouldn't you know that bird's bird keeper watched our video and told us more information about it. So if you happen to watch this video again, <laughs> we found your bird again. I've been looking for it all day. I'm so excited to see it. I also love that it has a huge habitat now. This bird takes yoga. Look at that. I can't do that, can you? How flexible is this bird? Glorious, glorious air conditioning. This place has air conditioning. It's like the bird super highway or something right here. Yes. I have to tell you how excited we are that we just captured birds flying over Bill's head. 
that has been happening to us all day at Bird Paradise. I feel like they're just above my head. I felt feathers. And I can feel the air as they rush by, but we have not been able to get it on camera. It's really hard to get those shots because <laughs> you gotta be filming like all the time for it to just happen. Until now, I'm so excited that we were able to do that. It's been happening all day and it is the weirdest feeling. Seeing a bamboo grove was not on my bird park bingo card for today. <laughs> we love bamboo groves. <laughs> How many birds can you fit on a feeder? Just one more. <laughs> well, the Asia section is proving to be a lot of fun. It kind of feels like it has a little bit of a Bali theme to it, or at least that's what it reminds us of out of the places that we've been. Yep. All right, park closes in 10 minutes. We are hurrying back to Lori Loft. It was our favorite one last time. This time Africa is way up there. Australia put up a good show. We need to give the lorries a fair shake. So we are rushing back there. And the coolest part is that there are like no people anymore because it closes in 10 minutes. So we're able to make really good time. Made it to Lori Loft and we are greeted by some birds right here on the railing. Quickly. Oh my God. What are they doing? Did we pay extra for this? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my They're like inspecting my neck. What is going on? I don't know. Well, we know from the other place, if you shake, he'll, they'll leave. Go ahead and shake. <laughs> this is the damnedest thing. Oh my god. Come on, guys. Okay, okay. Fun party's over. Time to go home. Yep, shake, time, that's shake my it, ear. Shake, shake it. Shake your body. <laughs> Is there two of them still? Yeah. We did not do this. Are there babies? Yeah. Oh, then now they leave. <laughs> they know the trainer is coming. Well, Bill had two hitchhikers. What the guy said was they were juveniles and they're just kind of rascals. They're getting into things. And specifically, they like to hitch a ride on people's backpacks. So then when you go through these, I call them airlocks, but basically the edges of the aviaries, they are trying to escape. Very smart. These are the culprits right here. Bad bird, bad bird. They look so innocent. Uh-huh. You right. come here, watch out for hitchhiking birds. Yes, very important. <laughs> All of a sudden I heard, Heather, <laughs> behind me, quick, film. I was like, okay. <laughs> I am not necessarily like a bird enthusiast, but I absolutely love these bird zoos. It's amazing to be able to walk in and see birds in a simulated natural habitat and birds that I would never have the opportunity to see anywhere else. It's absolutely an incredible experience. But you are here for the answer to our showdown, the bird park showdown between Kuala Lumpur Bird Park and Singapore Bird Paradise. And we are ready to give you our answer who the winner is. Uh, Sort of. Here's a recommendation. If you are going only to Kuala Lumpur, or if you're on a budget and you're going to both places, definitely Kuala Lumpur's Bird Park. Excellent. If you don't have a budget, or if you're going to both places, then hands down, Singapore Bird Paradise is our winner from this showdown. Go to whichever one you have access to, but this one was the one that won. It's amazing. We have so much more to come from Singapore after we finish traveling Malaysia. So stay tuned. You're not gonna wanna miss our Malaysia adventures or the fun that we have in store in Singapore. Thank you so much for watching our bird park showdown. 
See you next time. Bye. Bye.